Everyone, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for tuning in. What I have here is the Bioclesin. This is a Chinese tactical fleece jacket. I reviewed this last week. Now, I mentioned in that episode that I was going to get in the Helicon Tex version. So in this episode, I am comparing these two jackets. Which one is better? Which jacket has the best features? And which one is worth your hard-earned money? Most of you know this already, but the Outdoor Gear Review is agenda-free. I bought these jackets with my own money. I'm not trying to sell products. I'm here to share information with you all, and that's it. If you like that sort of thing, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Anyways, everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at these jackets. So first off, I will do a 360 for you. What you will notice about these two jackets is that they look very similar. But when you look at them closely, you will see that there are some major differences between the two. So this is the Bioclesin jacket. I'm not going to say that anymore. I'm going to call this the Chinese jacket from here on out. But as far as pockets go, they are virtually the same. On the left arm, you have two pockets. Right arm, one pocket. You have two chest pockets and you have a pass-through back pocket. I will go ahead and put the hood on. One more 360. Okay, now let's go over to the Helicon Tex jacket. Right off the bat, you can tell a difference between these jackets. The Chinese jacket, it's heavy. The Helicon jacket is even heavier. You have the two pockets on the arm, one pocket on the right side, two chest pockets, and you have a pass-through pocket on the back. So everything here looks virtually the same, but again, there are some major differences here. This is what it looks like with the hood. One more 360. Now folks, let's compare these jackets directly. So first things first folks, let's go over some stats for you all. The cost of the Chinese jacket is $42, whereas the Helicon Tex version is actually $90. You could find these in a wide range of colors. For the Chinese version, I went with the OD green. And with the Helicon Tex version, that's more of a gray-green color. They call that foliage. The weight of the Chinese version is 1 pound 9 ounces. The weight of the Helicon Tex version, that is 2 pounds 2 and a half ounces. Both of these jackets are made from polyester. The Helicon version is heavier, though. It's a heavier weight fleece. And it features YKK zippers, whereas the Chinese version basically features no-name brand zippers. Since I've reviewed the Chinese version of this, I will not go into any more details concerning it as far as stats go. You can watch my review if you want more information about this jacket. Overall though, this is a very good product and I do recommend it, especially for the money. But you have to keep in mind, this is a very inexpensive fleece jacket. The quality of this jacket feels okay, right? When you pick this up, it feels like a $40 fleece jacket. Now, when you pick up the Helicon Tex version, it feels substantial. You could tell the difference in the materials and the overall build quality. Now, I will come back to the build quality in just a second because there is something that I wanna rip into Helicon Tex for. Anyways, let's focus on the differences between these two jackets. When comparing these jackets, let's talk about the obvious differences. First off, when it comes to the hood, the cut is different. And also, with the Helicon Tex version, this is fully adjustable. You have draw pulls, so you can cinch this down. With the Chinese version, there's no adjustment here. So it is how it is. You cannot cinch this, you cannot tighten it, and because of that the wind can blow this off of your head. Now with the Helicon version you can cinch this down so that it's fully secure. That is a really nice feature and it is missing from this jacket. Also you can see the differences here when it comes to the bills. The Chinese version the bill is rather pronounced, it's rather big, the Helicon version, it's rather small. With the right arms, you have the same features. You have hook and loop on the arm and a pocket, hook and loop, and a pocket. The hook and loop on the Helicon version is larger. You have quite a bit more space for larger patches. Overall, the pocket size is similar though. Going over to the left arm, you have some differences. You have hook and loop on both arms. Both versions have side pockets. With the Chinese version, it has a pin holder. The Helicon Tex version does not have that. And that's okay with me. I have no plans to ever stick a pin in this. Then you have the pocket that's below that. The pocket on the Chinese version is quite a bit smaller than the Helicon Tex version. Both jackets feature the chest pockets. With the Chinese version, they are a little bit lower, as you can see here. With the Helicon jacket on the inside, you have sleeved pockets. 
and you also have media pass-through ports. And that's the case with both pockets. With the Chinese version, all that you have are two pockets. When you go down to the cuffs, you have major differences between these two jackets. With the Chinese version, you have thumb holes and no adjustments around the wrist. With the Helicon version, you have no thumb holes, but you do have fully adjustable cuffs, so you can tighten these and loosen these. Both jackets feature draw pulls at the bottom so you can cinch them up. You can stop upward drafts. With the Chinese version, you do not have pit zips. With the Helicon Tex version, you do. You have very good size pit zips with this jacket, and that is an awesome feature because these are very heavyweight fleece jackets. They can become very, very hot, even in freezing temperatures if you're pushing yourself hard enough. Having that breathability and that airflow is awesome. Now, another difference between these two jackets when it comes to the arms, the Helicon version is reinforced at the elbow, whereas the Chinese version is not. So when it comes to a fleece jacket, the elbows will typically wear out. They will wear thin. But that's not going to happen with the Helicon Tex version. These reinforcements are nice. Another difference between these two jackets is this. With the Chinese jacket behind the zipper, you have a chin guard at the top, but there's not a wind guard for the zipper itself. With the Helicon version, guess what? There is. There's a wind guard and a chin guard, and it goes all the way down. So you don't have to worry about cold breezes coming through the zipper. When looking at the back of the jacket, the jackets are virtually the same here. You have the lower back pocket. It's a pass through for both jackets. So it goes through just like so. It goes through just like so. Flipping the jackets back over, let's go to the inside real quick. Now, both of these jackets feature left side zip. You may like this, you may not, but it is how it is. On the inside of the Chinese version, there's nothing to talk about here. You do not have any pockets. In fact, there's not even a label from the company. Going over to the Helicon version, you have no pockets and you have a media pass-through port on both sides. So folks, those are the main differences between the jackets. I'm putting on the Helicon version now. I'm sure there's a few things that I forgot, but for the most part, those are the big differences. Let's see. Um, on the inside of the Helicon version, there are some rings, so you can clip in your keys or something like that if you want to. And you have those on each side. You do not have that feature on the Chinese version. Now, one big difference between this version and the Chinese version is overall quality. Now, Helicon Tex, I need to rip into you about this because this is absolute shit. This jacket costs $90. This one costs 40. This jacket is covered in loose threads. There are loose threads all over this jacket. I don't know what is wrong with you all, but pay attention to your quality control. This is unacceptable. Now, luckily, these loose threads, I don't believe they're going to pose a problem as far as like durability. They are pretty much just superficial loose threads, but it looks like absolute there are loose threads all over the zipper, all over the sleeves. There are threads just hanging from everywhere. For $90, this is unacceptable. It really is. Yes, overall, this is a stronger product than the Chinese version, but the cheap Chinese version looks better than this one. It looks like a better made jacket than this. And that's nonsensical. Helicon Tex. I really like this company, folks. I really do. I think their products are really, really good for the most part. But I have to say that within the last year, this company has soured my opinion somewhat. They contacted me asking if I wanted to review some of their products. They presented me with this contract, basically, that was like, we're going to tell you what to review. We have to approve it after you're done and so on. And I was pretty blown away. I was pretty blown away. So I told them, piss off. I am not going to play that game. Nobody tells me what to do. I review what I want and I will say what I want. I will buy these products with my own money. I don't want anything for free, so putting that to the side, I am just shocked at the quality here. I mean, it does not look good. Even though when you go hands-on with the product, you could feel that, yeah, this is a substantial jacket. This is going to last a long time, but it does look very, very poor, especially when you compare this to the Chinese version. So the question becomes, which one would I purchase? Well, I don't think you can go wrong either way. If you're looking for a stronger product, I think this makes more sense. It's a heavier duty fleece. It's going to be warmer. The zippers are YKK, so they're stronger. You could feel the difference in quality and overall, like the durability of the materials. But with that being said, the Chinese version for $40, 
It's a great jacket. Without a doubt, it's warm, it performs very well, it looks cool, but I would be more delicate with that jacket than this one here. This jacket feels like it can take some use and abuse, whereas the Chinese version feels like you need to be a little bit more delicate with it. The features of this jacket, in my opinion, warrant the extra cost. You have the adjustability here at the wrists. You have the pit zips, the adjustable hood. Again, the better materials, better zippers, and so on. So Now, I mentioned before that the chest pockets are higher on the Helicon version. I like the pockets on the Chinese version better. These are just a little bit too high. You can see here that my hands are in those pockets. This is not really the most comfortable position. It's a little bit too high. A little bit lower, and that would be more comfortable. So let me go ahead and put on the Chinese version real quick. I talked about speaking with Helicon Tex. If you're watching YouTube and you see a review of one of their products, you need to make sure that it's agenda-free. Anyways, those pockets, they sit just a little bit lower, and this is substantially more comfortable. Ah, speaking of which, I almost forgot to mention this. The Helicon Tex version of this jacket has pit zips, but unfortunately, there is no guard behind that zipper. So when you are wearing this jacket with, say, a t-shirt, you could feel that zipper against your skin, and it is uncomfortable. So as far as overall comfort goes, I have to give it to the Chinese version. I do. This is more comfortable of a jacket than this one. Now, <laughs> with that being said, everyone, there are major benefits to having those pit zips. These are heavyweight fleece jackets. And even with temperatures below freezing, these jackets can be very hot. If you're pushing yourself, let's say you're hiking up a hill, you could be getting hot inside of this jacket. And those pit zips will help a lot. You can get that airflow, you can cool off, and you cannot do that with the Chinese version. So that is something to consider there. But in the end, folks, let me just go ahead and say this. I really do like both jackets. I think both jackets are excellent. Both are available in numerous colors. I think for $40, you really can't go wrong with this jacket. I really like it, I really do. You have to be a little bit more delicate with this. I don't think it's the strongest, best made jacket out there. But for $40, hey, it looks cool, it performs well, it will last you a few years. The Helicon version, in my opinion, will last longer. It has better features. It's a better thought out product. Now, I mentioned this before in the review of this jacket. There are many companies who make this. I mean, the same company who makes this may in fact make this jacket as well. This could be a relabel, who knows. There are like 50 different Chinese companies who sell this same jacket. I believe there's like one company who makes these jackets and they just slap different logos on there. So in the end, the one from, what what I call it, Biocleason or something or other, I can't stand that name. That's why I don't wanna say it. But um, in the end, the company who makes this jacket, the quality is good. It really is. I cannot comment on the quality of the other jackets by other companies, but overall, I really do like this jacket, and I like the Helicon Tex version. By the way, everyone, Helicon Tex calls their jacket the Patriot. I should have mentioned that earlier. Make sure to comment down below, what do you all think about the Patriot versus the Chinese jacket? Which one would you go with? Would you save some money, $40 for the Chinese version, or are these features worth double the price? What do you all think about the loose threads with this jacket? I mean, to me, I'm just, my mind is blown. Helicon Tex, pay attention to your products. Pay attention to quality control because you're close to shooting yourself in the foot, right? You don't want to have a reputation for pumping out really inferior, ugly looking products. So make sure to address this. For this episode, that pretty much wraps it up. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Again, if you want to support the channel, you certainly can do so. Patreon, YouTube, join the Wolf Pack. Hit the thumbs up because it helps a lot. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for making the Outdoor Gear Review what it is today. We are very close to hitting 400,000 subscribers. That's incredible. It really is. Thank you all so much. I want you to know that I do not take any one of you for granted. I appreciate the views, the comments, the emails, the messages, the packages, everything that you guys provide. I, I really do appreciate it. So everyone, be good, be safe, strength and honor. Bye for now.